This is an ongoing difference of perspective here. On one side, you've got the district saying that two, so far, 274 students have been tested, and so two have tested positive. So they say that's about a 1% uh, infection rate. On the other side, you've got those who have opposed summer school, which we've seen for the past couple of weeks with them out there blocking buses. They're saying that these two cases could in fact lead to more spread to students, staff, and their families. I think the two children testing positive uh, is an um, expression uh, in concrete form of why it's too early to open up summer schools um, and why uh, we can't open up schools until we have a policy on how to actually deal with COVID. Tristan Taylor is an organizer for Detroit Will Breathe one of the groups protesting in-person summer school in recent weeks, saying the Detroit Public Community School District is putting students and their families at risk by having them attend classes during a pandemic. Just yesterday, 19 people were arrested at a school bus garage for blocking buses. And they're saying that we need to have children in person because that's the best way they learn. But again, if they're dead, we know they won't learn anything. Uh, if their parents are dead because they caught COVID from these asymptomatic children, uh, then now you have to have children grieving, uh, which also impairs their learning. As a result of a federal lawsuit filed in the matter, Tuesday, a federal judge ordered the 630 students attending summer school be tested within five days as a condition for summer school to continue. Of the nearly half tested so far, two have tested positive. In response, the district and city health department released a joint statement saying, quote, parents of the students, as well as those who were in close proximity, are being notified to self-quarantine for 14 days and monitor for COVID-19 symptoms. Students who have tested positive will continue summer school through online learning, end quote. So, Darren, obviously this is news. Parents, students, teachers, administrators, you know, didn't want to hear, but now with these two positive test results, what's the future of summer school in Detroit? Will it remain open? Well, they will be closed today. And so the district says that any student who has been tested so far, 274, as I mentioned, 272 will be able to return on Monday. The other two uh, will be able to do uh, online, uh, do their summer classes online. So do that virtual learning. And uh, the superintendent is actually expected to uh, address the issues even more later on today.